Before, um, Jamin, the Vendorpedia, I guess just to summarize in case people missed when you were cutting in and out there, um, you essentially started building a vendor management platform where we can send questionnaires essentially bottom line out to vendors. You started realizing that everybody's kind of sending the same questionnaire to the same people. So why is everybody having to do that on their own? So you built what we call Vendorpedia, which is a cyber risk exchange and essentially has tens of thousands of vendors pre-populated in there with their assessment questionnaires and their information about their certifications from a privacy and security perspective, all pre-populated. And so instead of having to go send a questionnaire, chase it, review it, we can essentially just order the assessment directly through the exchange. You apply some AI and machine learning to kind of review and scrub the answers to make sure there's no anomalies. And then the customer just gets the assessment and they can do whatever analysis they want from there on it and they get whatever certifications they have. And then we can um, monitor those and they just get an update every year automatically. So it completely, I guess, changes the game. And so does it require, I guess, Jamin, you know, what, do companies have to standardize on a certain type of questionnaire? Does that work for everybody? What types of standards do we cover? What happens when somebody wants something custom? How does it all work? Yeah, that's also a really good question because we know most organizations may start with a standard, uh, but realistically, most organizations want to ask questions that are specific to their organization's needs uh, when it comes to assessing their third parties or vendors. However, we've seen a baseline of the majority of the market standardizing. And when it comes to the standards that we support, it's really any industry standard. Most commonly, we see uh, the shared assessment SIG template, as well as ISO 27001, as well as the NIST CSF framework. And with that being said, any of those standards are supported within our exchange. So it gives customers more flexibility in terms of what uh, assessment they would like to request. Now, on the flip side of it, because it is a community-based approach, thinking about vendors, it's easy for vendors to fill out the industry-based standards and simply share those out. But what happens when those vendors also receive customized assessments from their customers? So in order to solve for that, we thought, well, if they're already filling out standardized assessments, why not use those to help them complete any custom questionnaires that they receive as well? So we actually uh, recently released our questionnaire response automation um, platform, which essentially allows vendors to ingest any questionnaires that they receive, custom or standard. And based off of their question libraries that they've populated off of assessments they've done in the past, automatically answering those questions. So now within the exchange, a vendor can simply just share their completed standard or their certifications that they have, or if they receive a customized questionnaire, our tool helps them automatically respond to that moving forward as well. Got it. So standard questions, if it's GDPR, CCPA, anything in the privacy world, anything in the security world, that's all pretty much included in the standard. But if somebody wants to fully customize it, they can send out their own custom questionnaire and we built a tool for the receiving vendor that uses our exchange to auto-complete anything custom using some machine learning and, and NLP. So that's really exciting as well. Um, I think, Jamin, you know, it's it's a new concept for a lot of companies. There's hundreds and hundreds of companies that use the exchange, but there's hundreds of thousands of other companies out there um, that this might be their whole first time hearing about something like a risk exchange and, and not having to do all the third party um, uh, chasing themselves or even fourth parties. Like how do you really go manage all that yourself? So now we can automate all that. Um, do you wanna just show everybody real quickly what that looks like? Do you have a quick demo you could do? Yeah, absolutely. And just confirm for me Kabir, once you can uh, see my screen and I will run through the quick demo. Nice, there, see it. Okay, wonderful. So essentially, when you're thinking about starting with your third-party risk management program or platform, you can simply just import all of the different vendors that you have. On that basis, we have the ability to automatically generate an inherent risk score for that specific vendor to help you prioritize which vendors you would like assessments on. Based off of that inherent risk score, you can just go directly into the exchange. And based off of any of the 70,000 vendors that we have existing day, or if we don't have that vendor, just request to add them and simply just request an assessment for that vendor based off the industry standard that you would like. At which point our team will do the work to get the assessment results back to you. 
With the assessment results that you get back, not only can you see all of the risks that are automatically flagged out of the box based off the templates that we have, you can also see all of the responses that the vendor gave you. And you can see this within the tool, or you can look at it based off of a consolidated risk report associated to different categories across privacy, security, compliance, et cetera, or simply just have a PDF based report that's an output of the uh, responses provided for your internal team to then assess against. And in the exact same way that we talk about ordering these assessments, uh, creating that overall questionnaire response automation tool on the vendor side, where they can upload any of their compliance documentation, manage all of the different requests that they receive, and auto-complete any net new questionnaires that they have, and securely share all of that documentation with access right controls associated to the customers uh, that those vendors work with. It looks really easy, Jamin. Yeah, that was the intention. We wanted to essentially try to keep it as simple as possible. Um, understanding that if you take a community mind up, we're all in this together. It really simplifies it for both sides in yeah. terms of the customer. It's easy for the vendors because they don't have to answer all these questionnaires constantly. And even if they get something custom, they can auto complete it easily using our response automation tool. And then for the customer side, everybody wins because everybody gets the same updates consistently. So yeah, this is taking off um, uh, really quickly. I think we're seeing in our customer base um, and it's and it's just such a no brainer and, and so obvious when a customer starts using it. Um, so how does the monitoring work, Jamin? Once somebody gets the upfront questionnaire and all those responses once, how do they know when something changes? How do they get those updates every year? Because usually they have to go dig back up the contact information, figure out if that person still works at the vendor, harass them to get a response. It's the lowest priority for the vendor to respond to it because they don't have a deal on the line. And, um, you know, so you know, the monitoring is a horrible task for, for people. How are we solving that? Yeah, and again, that goes back to the beauty of the community-based approach. So you mentioned that, how do you get the updated monitoring on a yearly basis? Most organizations are, kind of really wanting to have that active monitoring ongoing rather than it just being a yearly cadence. So let's say that in our situation, customer A requests a SIG template from vendor one. Customer B, three months later, is any time allows them to make any changes that they would like. Did you lose me again, Kabir? Yeah, I lost you a little bit, but just to, to summarize what you were saying, customer A requests the assessment and anytime any other customer requests that same assessment, we're going out and getting a refresh and seeing, is there anything updated? And we'll notify anybody instantly. They don't even have to wait a year. We'll notify them instantly if anything changes in any assessment that they've been managing. And at the very least, we at least refresh all those questionnaires every year, even if nobody's requested them. So at exactly. the very least, you get it every year. But most of the very popular vendors, you, you get notifications every day because those suckers are constantly getting requested and refreshed. And we always give the vendor the opportunity to refresh those whenever they want and, and ping them for a refresh. So yeah, that sounds um, uh, really, really exciting. So um, obviously, this makes a ton of sense for the vendors that are in the exchange. And I know you mentioned it a little bit in your demo, but what happens when, you know, let's just say somebody has 100,000 vendors, um, you know, and, and half of those aren't in our exchange. What would happen with that customer? Yeah, so it's really straightforward. We would simply just take the list of the vendors that the customer has, import them in for uh, that said customer at which point we have a full assessment coordination team that's available globally that would work with each of those vendors to help them complete the overall assessment across those standards uh, to make those available for the customer and any net new customer that comes to our exchange to access them. And part of that process, we don't actually require any vendors to sign a contract or have to sign up for our exchange. If they simply just want to... Yeah. yeah, so if they just want to complete the assessment and maintain that for their own records and share with us the next time we ask, that's perfectly okay with us as well. Um, and if they find the value add for it to be easier through our questionnaire response automation tool, we also give them a free version of that that allows them to essentially maintain those assessments and share those at any time. Nice, cool. So easy to add. We'll kind of go do all the work for the customer. And there's a question about some documentation. People who have taken our trainings or our customers and wanna 
really dig in and learn more about this. Um, we have, Jamin, some documentation on our My OneTrust portal and some training videos. Can you tell our audience how to find that? Yeah, so they're going to be under my.onetrust.com. And in addition to that, there is now a specific section that is for our third-party risk exchange module, where you'll see all of the most up-to-date videos that guide you through how to make requests, uh, as well as documentation. And additionally, there is a little navigation guide within our product itself that you can turn on that we've updated for the Exchange Kabir, uh, where if you go to settings and turn on your navigation wizard, it will tell you step-by-step -step where to click and how to make the request in action. And that's also built out in our questionnaire response automation tool where right. it will walk you through the full end-to-end -end setup. Cool. So really, three solutions around third-party risk management. The first product you built many years ago that we're very well known for is our just assessment, uh, vendor assessment and due diligence platform, which is really the way that customers can go manage all those assessments themselves. So they got to do all the work, but the platform helps them manage and automate pieces of the workflow. But then to avoid them even having to go send those questionnaires, that's where you develop the exchange. That's the second product here that a customer can use. And they can use, use the exchange for some of their vendors or all of their vendors and you can do a mix and match where you might assess some yourself or you might offload a lot of those to the exchange. Um, then there's a third product, which is really for the vendor receiving questionnaires. And this works again with or without the exchange, but it's a questionnaire response automation tool. So anybody here that gets inbound questionnaires can auto reply to those custom questionnaires using NLP and machine learning. So really three different pieces of the, the solution here, all that work together or work separately. And I think that's, uh, probably one of the areas I'm the most excited about, Jamin, is uh, is this cyber risk exchange. Um, now, there's one more question that just came in just in time for me to answer it. So if you remember, Jamin, we launched a, a product that I didn't mention um, that's built into our platform as well is around notifying of any regulatory enforcements or breaches. So how does that work in our platform? Yeah, so the way that works is for those of you that are familiar uh, with our data guidance solution. So data guidance is a regulatory research database that maintains all of the updates in the overall regulatory ecosystem, uh, along with kind of enforcements or breaches that have occurred that have gone public. Uh, we based off the modules we've built all in house, we seamlessly integrate with our internal data guidance solution as well, uh, which allows us to then populate each of the different breaches as well as enforcement alerts that have been uh, created to kind of notify anyone that's using our third-party risk exchange uh, and our vendor risk management module. Sounds awesome. Uh, what did I not cover, Jamin? Final thoughts? What uh, What are you working on that's the most exciting that you want to share? Yeah, so the thing that we're working on that's the most exciting um, one, I think we've kind of heavily, heavily invested in just solving for third-party risk management holistically. And what I mean by that is not just solving for our customers, but also trying to create this whole concept of transparency, which is also what I know most organizations use our overall platform for. So on that basis, something that's super exciting that we're working on is the ability for the vendors on the questionnaire response automation side to essentially just be able to have their own trust center which then display all of the information associated in terms of the certificates that they have, the assessments that they've completed, and allow them to almost get be proactive in the response process rather than reactive, creating transparency for the customers that are trying to assess or evaluate them. And we've also heard from some of our customers that a lot of times if they see that transparency and they know they have those certifications, they'll essentially just tier them as a lower risk vendor to kind of not assess them. Um, so I think that's super exciting and really will help the overall third-party risk management space. Very exciting, Jamin. So uh, thanks for joining us today. I think everyone's excited about the Vendor PD Exchange, so am I. And uh, if you go to our onetrust.com website or our vendorpedia.com website, you can get a demo right there and then, and maybe you'll hear from Jamin soon on your call as well. So thanks everyone for joining us today. Thanks, Thanks, Jamin. Bye. Thanks.